Hey guys, it's Kazaris bringing you another interesting deck. Um, so this is Gemini. This is the new Gemini with uh, the new card of Vakadar Chevalier. Everything else is old, but this is really the only good one we have to work with. So I'm just this whole deck is uh, kind of built around him in a sense. Uh, it still kind of keeps to the theme of just Gemini's in general, but uh, supervised works well with both Heavy Knight and Vakadar. So. The goal of this deck, it's a balanced deck, it's a like good old control back in the day, uh, Gyrgya, Gladiator Beast, plays very similar to those, just controls the board, gains advantage, gains slow advantage. Um, so with the new balance, we got to play at least six of every type, so it, in this deck it's not that difficult, in some decks it's diff difficult to get six of every type without sacrificing your main strategy, but this one plays seven monsters, so Av Avocator and Heavy Knight are absolutely the best ones. And then Neos Alias, uh, he's just a beater, but I just, I, six monsters is too few, because if you lose the first one, it's really hard to come back. Um, it's similar to Bujans in that sense, you got to protect Yamato. Like this one, if you don't have a follow-up play, or you don't have, I don't know, sometimes like Supervise and Rebirth are good, because they'll get you your monster back. Like if you summon your monster and equip Supervise, if it dies, you can just bring it right back, that's really cool. But the monster, maintaining a monster on board is always is somewhat difficult with this deck. In other times, it's you only draw monsters, and then you have no way to protect them, and that's also another difficult aspect. But overall, I think this is as consistent as I could get it. So you're playing the one alias just for another Gemini, uh, and then the Evocator and Heavy Knight are the ones you want to see the most of. Heavy Knight deals with Wiz, it deals with any big special summon monster, and then Evocator can just destroy anything on the field with Supervise. Um, and the Supervise is really good. Uh, it equips, it gives your effect immediately to the monster, and in these two cases, it will generate a new advantage right away. Um, late game, it's good. it's much better because when you start getting monsters in the grave, you can make full use of Avocator's effect. So you would summon, equip, supervise, and then destroy a card with his effect, and the supervise would bring back something from gate from the grave. Um, early on, it's a it's still good, but it's just not as good as it could be because Avocator Evoc is still popping a card, but you're not getting the full value out of supervise um but it's a mandatory three of because it works with every all, all your monsters and then for hire is the tier zero deck of the format if you're not playing it you're playing cards to counter it so that's how tier zero works um unfortunately uh so i, I try to make all of my non-meta fun decks as competitive competitively viable as possible so we're playing the two chalice and this two super rush uh you could play three chalice uh, so the Super Rush are something you can go I'm back and forth on. I play Econ, I don't know. These are the two slots I'm back and forth on, like Econ and stuff like that. Um, but I'm just trying these for now. Uh, they worked pretty well. Uh, then 3 Canadia, uh, just they summon a little guy, you flip it face down, they pass turn. That's about it. I mean, sometimes they set back row, but that's just how the game works out. Um, and then Floodgate, same concept as Canadian. Not as versatile, because you can only do it on summon. And not during the battle phase, but it still serves the same purpose. You just flip a face down when they summon it. And then the one rebirth. Uh, I don't like more than this. Um, you already have the supervises. Uh, it's just it's just in the case where you don't open, where balance won't get you supervised. Hopefully, it gets you the rebirth. Um, it's just having monster having a monster with just rebirth is just it's not enough protection, not enough versatility in your back row. But all right, that, yeah, that's the uh, deck profile there, and I got a replay for you guys. My career was about to level up. Nice. Um, so I think it was this one was the yeah. This is the fur higher game. Um, so a platinum tier. Unfortunately, the fur higher players aren't too competent. They have like way more than twenty cards in their deck, and it's just it's a nightmare. But regardless, the deck is still for higher, and I just want to showcase how it does against that deck. So let's get into it here. Yami versus. Kaiba, or Yuki versus Kaiba yet again. I go second, which is not ideal. You want to go first and just summon a monster, set two or three, and pass. Um, but roll with the punches here. Yes, yeah, I think he was playing, just, I think he was just dick, or, excuse me, I think he was just messing around with uh, a bunch of just Jinzo cards in his deck. I looked afterwards, but yeah, he starts pretty strong here. Beat Wiz, Wiz, or Beat Searches Dyna, I think, yeah. So I'm going to bait. So the, the good thing about Heavy Knight is he immediately clears Wiz. Like, I summon the Heavy Knight, attach the Supervise, he has to negate with Wiz here. Otherwise it is attack and clear his Wiz. Um, I don't think his back row was anything relevant the whole time. Because I just clear his beat here, and now he just 
He's stuck with the Wiz on the field. Yeah, I don't know. This is... <laughs> I think he doesn't have true nades, so he's playing spiritualism, but I don't know why he just used it there. I would have just kept the bluff, but yeah, now I just resummon Heavy Knight, banish some wins, deal with it, floodgate the monster. He treaches here. Uh, he probably could have treached my beat and Heavy Knight last turn. I don't know why. I, I feel like he would have still been in the same position. It just would have taken me another turn to resummon the Heavy Knight since I had a second one, but I, I, I didn't have to Canadian this here. Actually, yes, I did. No, yeah, my Heavy Knight was in defense, but... I didn't have to. I mean, it's still a monster in hand, but I just wanted to get the game over with as quickly as possible because he's in the same position. So yeah, set a monster, attack, attack, attack. So yeah, uh, deals with fur hires fairly well. Uh, I built it too, so I hope it would. Um, but yeah, that's that replay there. I just want to do a live duel for you guys. Hopefully, we get another fur hire deck, someone a little more competent. Uh, but I'll take anything at this point. So we're getting close to legend. Been grinding a bit. Um, I hit Cog 11 times, so I, I am so bored of it, so it, it takes a lot of dedication for me to hit Cog again, especially since I start off at, like, Platinum 1 instead of Platinum 4 the, these past few months. So I haven't I haven't gotten it since, like, April. Um, but, yeah, it's just been very boring for me. I just like to screw around with fun decks now, uh, just play in tournaments competitively. I, do, I just don't really mess around with the ladder much anymore. But we're up against a Shizu... Or, it, Shizu, Jesus, I can totally wrong him. Shizu Ishtar, the Gravekeeper goddess. Yeah, back, I remember back when Gravekeepers were legit way back in when. Uh, so this is a good hand. Uh, Chevalier, uh, people usually hit the middle back row, so you want to set the Rebirth in the middle, because that's the most useless one, and then the Canadia and the Chalice. I'm going to pass turn here. I don't know why, it's up here to be lagging a bit. Frame drop, I'm not quite sure. Um, so yeah, he's gonna. Oh, this is a 30 card deck, I just realized. Gem Knights, maybe? Gem. Could be a sealed tombs deck, it doesn't really affect us that much. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna play around the wall of D here, so I'm just gonna go for it. Attack, so. This isn't really that great of a replay, especially if this goes through like I think it will. So. <laughs> So the cool thing about Chalice is if they just let these attacks go through because they think they're going to live and they want to save their back row. Okay, never mind. So she let that go through thinking she would live on 200 life. I would just Chalice in the damage up and she won't be able to respond. And then I would just win with enough damage. Um, but that doesn't happen. Uh, she's going to pass. So she has Sphere Karibo. So maybe Gem Knights. Gem Knights play Sphere Karibo. I just, I don't know. I don't know what skill it would be. Like Gem Knights with sealed tunes. I don't know why. It just sounds weird to me. Like, Furry's played Seal Tombs against Amazonas and... No, not Amazonas. For the Spellbook matchup, but Spellbooks fell out of favor. I'm going to get Lava... All right, so I'm going to get Lava Golem here. Uh, that's fine. I have Chalice. And... Oh, no. What? Oh, what the... Lo what is happening? NMCR. I haven't seen that since Psychics in freaking August of last year. What is happening? All right, well, this is fun, boys. So, <laughs> rebirth, you know, rebirth my skull servant. Uh, just start swinging. I don't even care anymore. I don't even care anymore. Just get me out. Whoa. What? <laughs> okay, let's take a look at this deck, guys. I, I am, I am confusion. I have no idea what's happening. This is hilarious. Alright, that's one more closer to Legend. Yeah, I'm going to probably try to stick around Legend so I get some actual good duels. <sighs> Three. Wow. What a meme. What is this? Defenders Intersect. Jerry Beans Band versus Swordsman of Landstar. Three. Only in the battle phase, defensive vision. Huh. All right, well, that was a meme deck, and we destroyed it, so I have no idea what was going on. But yeah, that's the deck. Um, thankfully, I got a fur hire replay in there, even though it wasn't too great of a player, regardless. Uh, just kind of show how it, showed how it functions against it. But yeah, that's the deck. Uh, I might come back tomorrow with a Taya farming video. I'm not entirely sure yet. I might just try to stick to just playing fun decks. But yeah, that's the deck. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks, guys.